I've been setting up um, C++ projects from uh, this book, Open, uh, Beginning OpenGL Game Programming Second Edition by Luke Benstead with um, Dave Astle and Kevin Hawkins. And um, I just wanted to record this process while I can still remember how to do it. And hopefully it will help other people. Um, so, in the um, the project files that come with the book, there are um, these uh, you know CMake lists. You can use CMake to build the the projects, um, and it's you know it's worth worth learning how to do. Um, uh, and you can you know you can. Um, make code blocks versions or uh, Visual C++ versions of the code and everything. So, you know, it's 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 nice, but um, I I wanted to um, just walk through the process of building, um, basically, you know, setting up a, a C++ project that that works with the source files, just because you can make it a little bit of a cleaner. Uh, Visual C++ project, um, and I just I just wanted to know how to do it. So um, the the way I'm doing it is uh, um, let's see I haven't done robot example yet, so hopefully this will work for robot example. So what I've been doing is um, I create a, a new project with the name, so the name is going to be robot example, I'm just going to copy that and create a new project, new empty project and I'll paste in the name here and I've already set up, I have my, you know, a separate, uh, you know, set of chapter 4 projects, I already set up my directory here so I'm just going to say OK and I mean, I had it, you know, so it'll create the um, folders and everything. So now I have robot example here, and um, inside the robot example folder is another robot example folder. That's the one I'm going to go to, and then I'm going to uh, copy the source files. And actually, I'm going to arrange this by uh, by type, yeah, with the um, .h files at the top here. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually make a, a new, a, a separate include folder. Uh, just because that's how I like to organize things. And I'm going to include all these .h files, except I'm working on Windows. So I know I'm not going to use this GLX business here so just to keep from confusing myself I'm going to leave that out and I'm going to um, copy all of these files to here and copy all my C++ files again except for the GLX one over to here and you want to re remember it's not this top level robot example it's the robot example directory inside that one okay so now I'm going to go back to my uh, project I'm going to add the source files uh, existing items and you can just select all of them. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, select the last one that gets me all of them. I'm going to add all the source files. And then I'm going to do some property stuff. So I'm going to click on the robot example project, or right click on it, and pick properties. And basically, there are two things you want to fix in this 
I, I, under configuration properties, uh, you know what? Actually, before you do anything to the properties, you want to go from switch from active debug to all configurations. So this will apply, uh, you know, whatever your um, if you're building debugging or or building your your final release or whatever. Um, so there's two things in this C C plus um, plus part of the tree and two parts, uh, two things in the linker part. So I'm going to open up C, C++ and here, if I remember right, let's see, uh, uh, general, yeah, we want to add, we have additional include directories. I'm just going to add that include directory that I just created. So I'm going to uh, click down here, click edit, click double, you know, click in here until you get this little button thing here and then pick include and notice this is my include from robot example robot example the one I just set up so I'm going to select that folder say OK apply it and uh, under code generation uh, for the runtime library I found that I need to run this multi-threaded DLL I don't remember why that is but seems to work for me. Okay, apply. And then linker input. Um, I need a couple of, need to add a couple of libraries here. So I'm going to say edit. And it's opengl32.lib and glue32.lib. Hit OK. And one other thing here, system, I go system, subsystem, and I want to pick the Windows one. Apply that, say OK. And let's just see, I'm just going to open this up and see how it looks. Well, at least, yeah, the main one looks OK. I'm just going to hit F5 and see if it works. Would you like to build it? Yes. And there it goes. There's the robot. Awesome. Okay, so that those are the steps for um setting up those at least for well, it seems to be working for uh, all the chapter 3 examples and the chapter 4 examples from uh, beginning OpenGL